Good morning guys and girls, Anthony from the Braintree Group, I hope you're well. I'm just on my way to Liverpool, up at four o'clock this morning, get myself looking like Jim Royal, takes a while. Um, and then off to Liverpool. So again, today, as you see from all my videos, we're going to Liverpool to look at everything across the company that can um, elevate them to the next level. Anything that our body shops share between us, we put in place in all body shops. It's what we should have done 30 years ago, as I keep saying this, body shops talk to each other because it's mental that we don't hate the bloke around the corner. That's what people have made us think. Made us think we're against the bloke around the corner, but we're not. All of us should go and meet the bloke around the corner and say, look, what can you help me with? What can I help you with? Let's not squirrel away our figures and our, and our um, ideas and think, well, let's not share them with anyone because we'll do better than them. There's enough cars on the road for every body shop to have work, right? You've just been lazy. And I mean that in the nicest way, because the work used to come through on a fax machine, didn't it? I remember that when I was 16, 17. The fax machine used to go bing, bing. Well, it didn't. It was going bing, 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 Is that quite a good impression? Um, and you never had to look for work. Um, luckily for me, in my company, I've always looked for work. I've never signed a contract um, and carried on doing work for someone. Um, actually, that's a lie. I work alongside my good friend John Beecher at Blackford and great company to do work with, really care about the customer and my team love dealing with them so that is one work provider that we do work with um, and that is out of choice. We don't need to but my guys love them, they get on really well. I had a great meeting with John Beecher the other day, really doing stuff in the industry. Um, very proud of what he's done in a short amount of time. So anyway, what I will say though is, so we're going up to Liverpool, we'll sit down with him, look at his costs, um, look at everything in his business on, and then look at how we make money and um, implement anything that we can that can help his business. We'll look at um, estimating, we'll look at productivity, we'll look at what jobs and what contracts, like our first thing is Braintree Motor Group, what we do is we promise to look at the worst contract and make them enough money to be able to reject the contract and reject the work. So if you are putting out shit contracts, um, just be wary that body shops are now choosing a lot better and saying no. Body shops are starting to say no and this is where the industry is going to have a massive problem. Look at my last post about how many people are waiting for repairs. It's getting worse and worse. More body shops are going bust um, and more people are going to be waiting for repairs. So good thing about my group is we don't really work on volume. There's a few of my shops that work on volume. <coughs> Excuse me. But we will always get Mr and Mrs Jones and a fleet clients through the door quicker than anyone else in the UK. So please can give me a call if you have an accident um, and I'll do a video when I'm in Liverpool. Just having a quick coffee and a break. So take care guys, have a good day. I mean the sun is very bright today. It's red for Liverpool. Come on the Reds.